What is going on, my Concise Conversation family? I hope you guys are all doing well today on this fine, still January 18th. Yeah. I've already made a video today, but we're back at it. Uh, today, I'm with my homie, Armin. What's up? Uh, you can introduce yourself. I'm Armin. I'm 22, uh, originally from Riverside, California, but I recently moved to London. Yes, sir. So that's what we're going to talk about Moved today. to London. Yeah. yeah, it's a big move. I... I feel like I have like some semblance of what a move mm -hmm. that far because I'm from the East Coast. Yeah, you know, yeah. I moved from the East Coast to California, but obviously moving to a different country like comes oh, with no, the oh, own yeah. set of challenges. Yeah. So I mean, that's what we're gonna get into today. So like, what even prompted you to say like I want to move to London? Honestly, bro, like uh, it's been a topic that I came up with, or I like I talked about with my parents multiple times throughout college. Right. Like even when I graduated high school at like 18, we talked about it one time, but yeah. I was like, I felt I was like too immature to do it at no, that for time. Sure, bro. It's a and then we even talked about it like my second year of college, yeah. but I just decided just to like finish at UCR. But then like COVID hit, and that's when I like really thought about like the stuff I wanted to experience in right, my life. Right. So I just said, I took that leap and I said like, right. no, like it's time to just experience yeah, something yeah. new. Yeah, that's lit, bro. So, yeah. And you were born there, right? Yeah, I was born there and I only lived there for like nine or ten months okay. and then I moved to Baltimore from there. Okay, so how was yeah. so like how comfortable were you like moving there? Like how what, had you been back since you yeah, were born? So like this is the first time I've been back since I was Jeez, born. Yeah, bro, so was, like, that's was, different. That was an interesting experience that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. So how has been how has the adjustment been to like moving to London? Honestly like the adjustment was like hard at first, obviously as you'd expect. But uh, it's gotten easier. I've been there for like four months now. Okay. Yeah, apart from, like, the two weeks that I've been back home. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's been, like, it's been a lot better now. I can just, like, go back to my flat over there and then just, like, kick it like I used to. Hey, so, yeah. yeah. No, that's lit, bro. I feel yeah, like I'm one thing that I, you know, loved about moving was, like, the freedom that I got to experience. Like, oh, for sure. you know, being here by myself, like, you have to you have to be independent. Like, you know, you have to take care of your own. So, like, what is, like, what would you say is, like, one of the biggest things that you've learned so far? I know it's only been four months, but like, yeah. I'm sure you've learned a good amount. So far, honestly, like... It's just traveling is like the best way to just open your eyes to new things. Right. Cause like, you know, you interact with like a whole new set of people. Like I'll walk down the street and I'll hear like five, six different languages. Damn, that's lit, yeah, bro. So it's like pretty lit. I love getting like cultured, you know, experience right. different culture. So uh, yeah, and honestly, like my favorite thing so far about living over there is just how easy it is to travel. Nice. So like, yeah, I remember one of my friends came out to see me. And then we just like booked a trip to Prague and then like the next day we were just like hey. on that flight, spent 24 hours in Prague and the yeah. flight was only like 60 bucks right. and one hour Dang, long, that's so. lit, bro. Yeah, so like, it's just so easy to travel. You just see a lot more. Nice, yeah. yeah. I feel, I mean, those are the experiences that you want to have. Oh, exactly. Especially like when you're in a different country, like you want to make sure that you're doing everything that's available yeah. to you, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And it's been like, it's been good. Like I got like a few friends out there. So they've been teaching me like the lingo. No, wait, no like I've that. noticed you say fan now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, yeah, okay, for yeah. sure. No, that's lit. Yeah. So like, what is, you know, what is your more long-term plan? Like, do you see yourself staying there? Long-term plan? Like, honestly, like I'd love uh, settling down there. It just depends on where I get a job after school. Okay. But like, I feel like if I were to come back to California to settle down, it'd only be by the beach. Okay, for but, sure. Like, I'm also open sure. to like new countries. Like, I don't know, like other parts, well, like, you know, it's not in Europe anymore. Right. Other parts of Europe. Uh, maybe even like Dubai or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just travel a little more. Because I feel like right now, just being in school is like your time to just experience the most. Because you have minimal responsibility. Exactly, you just gotta worry about like, school work. Exactly. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah. So it's bro. like it's definitely there's not a lot tying you down. Right. So it's just like the best thing you can do for yourself is to get out there. That's so true, bro. Yeah. yeah. I was even telling some of my friends who are still back home in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, some of them wanted to move to Texas. I was like, bro, go for it. Yeah, like you're right. Like this is the time that we you know, have that opportunity to, like, go and uproot our entire lives yeah. and start something new, bro. Like, you know, obviously, as we get older, you, you plant roots and, like, shit gets harder to, like, move around. Yeah. But now is the time, bro, like, to just move yeah. around. So, like, what what other places would you think you want to go to? Like, permanently? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just to, like, you know, what you're doing now, like, check yeah. out the... So, honestly, like, I know my cousin, he lives in France, so I'm trying to go out to Paris to see him. Dang. And that's only, like, a... You can take a train, like the underwater train to Paris, or you can yeah. just fly. It's like another hour flight. Dang, bro. And then I want to go to definitely, like, you know, Amsterdam, like, uh, hey. <laughs> like Germany. I want to go to Rolling Loud, Portugal, too. I didn't even you know, know that was over yeah, there, bro. I didn't bro. even know that was a thing until, like, I was over there scrolling through Instagram. You know, like, these ads. Right, right, right. Like, right. Always on something. Yeah, like, they listen, bro. Yeah, exactly. I got an ad to, like, Rolling Loud, Portugal. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it's, like, on the beach and everything in July. Dang, and so bro, that's, that's lit. lit. Yeah, that's lit, bro. So it's like pretty dope. Yeah. Hey, hey, check him out. Shout out your Instagram. Hey, it's uh, Armin M underscore at the end, and then yeah, that's my. Screen. Hey, say <laughs> less. Hey, check him out. Thank you guys for tuning in to Concise Conversation. It's been we'll fun. Catch you later. See you soon.